The Real Thing by John. His shoes have holes, but he still walks to his corner. He likes to sing a happy song, but he sings for pennies. People just don't like the happy beggar singing of happiness. He tells a lot about people whom he never could see. Maybe you would like to be a blind beggar. Just close your eyes, feel about you, and listen what people have to say. Man, you play great for a blind man. I got a quarter somewhere, but Mum, he plays good. Bobby, not now. I began to notice the differences in people. The way they wear their dress and their smells, whether the brown paper sacks are open or closed. Most are open, but nine was twisted because the cap of a bottle was sealed. I didn't need a nap. There is something about riding night after night in the subway. Do you notice people loving and dying? I wanted to play God. This man who will be coming towards me is blind to feeling. I wanted to blind him some more. So he could care more on his way to Damascus, but I'm no saint, no holy medal around my neck, just a pig's foot. The rabbit was too scared. I guess the rabbit could run faster than I could. I knew he would be getting on at this stop. We do not get along with each other. I guess this is the greatest friendship, not getting along. Just to be nice to him, I greeted him. Hey, don't hey me. I'm no horse. I forgot you're the old nag on the merry-go-round. Can't you let me be till I'm on? His cane tapped faster, as if tapping some obscene message to me. No, I'm waiting for the day you don't make it. And he did make it, thank God. He always finds the holding pole before the movements. He always says, "Move down one," to keep from saying, "Co owes me." For sitting in an old lady's lap, hopelessness had long since set in. But still, empty seats seemed to get up. These seats must have remembered the winning performance of falling in the middle of the car and getting the big pity a bill. But that was in his younger days, and now he didn't care what was thrown at him. He was old. He was tired. All he wanted was a bed. This blind beggar and I had ridden the same schedule for the last three months. His name was Paul. I never got his last name. I guess the city made us that way. He would sit with his cigar box in his lap. That box was old and taped. His hands were wrinkled and battered from feeling the concrete for missed money that fell to the ground. Paul's coat was several sizes too big, so he made it double-breasted. His face was noble, all but his eyes. With poor muscle control, his eyes seemed to roll as he moved. Still, his eyes paid the rent. How did you do? I asked to start the conversation. How do you think I did? He rubbed his hands on his pants, getting the sweat off. He had had a good day. You're the blind man, not me. I thought you were uneasy talking about my blindness. Yes. Watching his cane to make sure it didn't fly up and hit my head. People get afraid talking to me, cause they're afraid of saying something, and God is the blindest of all. He would go from one idea to another, but somehow they made sense. That seems funny, even from you. You don't believe in God. I believe, but not in church-going God. With all the people trying to force kindness down your throat, he began to squirm in his seat. What about Christ? Paul gave a puzzled look. Jesus, he's good. That's all I know. I decided to have some fun, but do you think he can save you from hell? I could see red in his eyes. Paul said something in a murmur. Then to me, Blin Mandon, go to hell. You are the biggest con artist. Or, do you know a lot more than I do? Paul had nothing to say. So he fell into a daydream which I had heard once before. When he was not old, a young girl would get on the subway. She was not afraid of him, as most children are, because of her playful nature and her innocence. She would always talk about herself. He would say nothing. 
she began to talk to him of a doll she had gotten for her birthday. The word doll must have triggered memories, and images of an older girl appeared to him with ever-increasing clarity. He could see himself going to Coney Island with his girl and standing in front of three-leaded bowling pins and spending $14.99 for a QP doll that looked all of two cents. But the look his girl gave him was worth $14.97. He asked, what does the doll look like? Her words were a mumble all but, skin like a gingerbread. His dream crumbled in painful memory. The sound, a faint cry, growing. I wish I could tell him I'm sorry, and take him to a mountain stream where he can feel more than I can see. The fall colors would be green to Paul. He would roll in the grass, because he is a child once more. And going to the stream, he would let the water beat through his fingers, and walking home, we'd talk. Helping each other we would see and feel. But I can't do any of this because it would reveal more than I have to give. As we rode the subway, the mistake had been made. It was 29 minutes old. Tomorrow had come. Tomorrow will come in two minutes. In two minutes, poor tears will come down. And for a time, saints and sinners will be in hell or heaven. In two more minutes, two more stops. Paul sighed in relief, as he would do when he was walking, remembering the last rights and lefts that had to be made. He didn't know why the sound was heard way going on. I said to myself, I bet those civil defense boys are having fun doing the test one day early. What going on? Paul repeated, while his movements became frantic. There's nothing to get excited about, it's just a mistake. The test was for tomorrow. Somebody just pushed the wrong button, that's all. But Paul was more concerned when he felt the subway come to a halt. Do you see the paper people, in the ass, saying nothing? What? I asked. I can see them looking at us. What do you want me to do? Go around putting mustaches on them for not talking. Tell me W-H-A apostrophe are they sin? Why not? I had the feeling it was only a game. What did Camel say to no smoking? I looked at him clutching his cigar box. Humoring him I said to his question, Does smoke want a glass of water? What Gimbal's doing with all those toys? I guess the Camel is breaking them in before giving them to children. And was K-7 sin? The camel didn't want his tail straightened. What the tail? I don't think so. I wanted to laugh, but couldn't. I was afraid of losing the game. The sound. The siren. Paul, in an ecstatic state, said, Her baby, stop crying. Do you know, once thought pity was store-bought given by passers by throw in money at me not now cause all animals born needs care. Not long after the kid been kicked away from milk, the kid may make it, child needs care from the time it's born till dead. For some unknown reason, he grabbed my hand. A flash. I do not know why I have written this, when time has gone into a dying spasm, as if God had turned his clock one turn too many. Rushing in darkness, rushing to catch tomorrow. Days, nights and loves and death, all rushing to catch the final ride. The lights flicker and tease the passengers of the subway, as if poor souls were looking to a wheel of chance. The house wins, the subway's topped, too.